Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 2. And we are still here in the Turbine Battle, the Elbasim Holy Temple. Alright, um, as you can see, we've got these guys that just came out. Um, I didn't show off their stats, I'll go ahead and do that now. Assassins, HP of 36, attack of 34, defense of 23, agility of 18, luck of 3, movement of 6, Steel Sword, and they can drop Healing Drops. Hellhounds, attack, or HP of 28, attack of 31, defense of 22, agility of 20, luck of 3, movement of 6. They can drop Fairy Powders. Um, so yeah, not that big of a deal. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to point out is if you look very, very closely, it's kind of hard to see. The circle in the middle of this is the same as the magic circles that appear. And I think the little the two double crescents are magic symbols for lightning. Could be wrong. There's not really a lot of information on it. So just little observations that I've noticed in between setting up recordings. All right, so we've got these guys blocked off where they can't really do much of anything right now, which is fine with me. I'm fine with this. Um... I'm not really going to do anything with Uriudo at the moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show off Zephyrus because... It's, no, I'm going to go ahead and use Freeze. I, I want I want to show off Zephyrus, but I don't want its first time being used to have its damage cut in half. I, I want it to be shown in all of its... Uh, weird glory. It's it's an odd spell. It looks strange. But we've taken out the assassin and done massive damage to the hellhound and got a healing drop out of it. So all in all, I'd say that's still a very successful turn. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just waiting to get back into the ruins. I would cut out this section, except for the fact that there are those bad guys there that kind of need to be dealt with. They're not going to get to move, though, so I could have just cut all this out. I didn't think about it. I really didn't. I had not thought of that. Alright, so... These guys are going to move forward, being a massive pain in my ass. Move forward, staying out of the way of that path. Hera, move there. Zero. All right, so we've got these two switches, which Zero can get to in one turn from either side. We're going to open or inspect this one first, and that'll open the door closest to us so that we can get our troops into the sand area. And then Zero's next turn, we can open the other door and get them in in the side. Only problem is, remember, sand will kill your troops' movement. So, take that into consideration before you do anything. There's really no good way around it. Uh, so, just know that that's going to suck. And the Guardian Pillars do nothing, just like the Goggles, they do nothing. I really wish I could have attacked those, because I'm just, I'm sitting here contemplating. Most of the time they don't do anything. It'd be very easy to swarm them. I don't think I could do 150 points of damage to them, though. I could, probably, with my, uh... with my uh, my casters cuz now that I've got a summon I might I might be able to chunk out that much damage quick. It's unlikely, but it's possible. All right, so those guys are just going to sit there and do jack shit for this turn and then they're going to walk up and beat the crap out of median and the other one's going to smack uh rock for probably next to no damage. 
unless they use a status effect. Because Hellhounds, I believe, have Paralyze, which is why they drop Fairy Powders. But as it is now, they're just going to stand there. They're blocking the Assassin, which I'm fine with, because that means he's not going to be able to do anything. The rest of these guys are just going to stand here and be like, I'm not getting in between those. I'm not going to get the, the shit shocked out of me. Screw you, hippie. Alright, so now it's Rock's turn, and Rock's getting a massive attack bonus being next to Median, which is going to reflect in his full swing. 23 damage, not too shabby, not bad. Whose turn is it next? Or do we go into the ruins next? We go into the ruins. Into the ruins. Alright, now they're going to get the items. Rune Tomahawk. And a large mithril. We want both of those. So it's time to move all the things. And Zero will... Oh, son of a bitch! I thought he could make it to the either side. That is so dick! Oh, so dick. Alright, well, at least this gives me the opportunity to move... How is it that he could move from here to both sides? One, two, three, four, five... He's got a movement of seven, I guess... I don't, I don't know. That doesn't seem, that doesn't seem likely in any way, shape, or form that that should be the case. But it is. No amount of whining is going to change it. So, yeah. And the pattern changes again. To do nothing. This would have been perfect things to edit out. But I don't want to... I really don't want to mess around with editing this video if I can get around with it. This video... It's going to be kind of unnecessarily long. Or not unnecessarily long, but kind of unnecessarily... Uneventful. Alright. Uryudo... Uryudo could cast... but he's not going to. I could kill both of them, but I'm not going to, because that would be a gross waste of XP. That, however, fantastic use of XP. Now, it should be Sintesis' turn. Sintesis' turn. I was going to say, and she could... Cast on the other Hellhound, but apparently not, because now she has no way of reaching him. Fantastic. So, Median will get to kill him. With a dagger! <laughs> because I did not think that through. That's fine. He's got. Tr he's already learned Triangle and Pentagram. He can only learn one more. The other one is designated for special weapons, so... And Assassins! Play out... Assassins and Hellhounds, I don't know why I took the time to actually show off their sets. They are the same as they were in Scenario 1. They're just... obnoxious. Not that everything else in this fight's not obnoxious. The, it's, everything so far is being obnoxious right now. So, whatever works. Rock levels to three. So yeah, I'm going to kill the assassin with Synthesis so that she can get the XP, because I don't think she's level three yet. And I would like her to be level three. That would be, that would make me happy. Very, very happy. Alright, now the thieves are going to try to retreat. I'm 
there's really not much we can do at the moment. There's... I need to make sure... Campbell can move forward. Because I've got to get to Robbie. If I could block the pathway, that will be the best alternative. Because I don't need to worry about the treasure, and I don't want to get all the treasures yet. But if I can block the path... That's my best option at the moment, and I don't think I can. Cause I think the only person who can is going to be David. David's the only one who'd be able to move far enough. Ah, uh, well, that's aggravating. Aggravating indeed. And more pillar wastedness. I don't really have too much... I think I've hit the, the crux of this fight where everything else is taken care of. Once I'm done with the ruins, I can move my people out and hopefully not get the shit shocked out of me. But that's why I'm also saving uh, Uryudo's MP. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be casting a lot of Aurus. And... Just because I'm sure it needs to happen. Because I want to make sure he's dead. And she levels up to three. Fantastic. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, so... That's it. I may cut this section out. Yeah, so I, I decided to cut that section out. So we're back in the ruins now. And of course... They're going to make it all the way over there. I don't know if I can get to Robbie. in the turn that's going to allot me. I think I've screwed this completely up. <sighs> Damn it, Aldo Bloody Puss Viewing Hell. Oh well, it's worth anything at this point. Because if it works... That means he's on my side. So that actually may work out to my advantage. Because that means if he doesn't leave... Then I, I may ha still have a chance to get all the items. And I'll attack him to get his item. Oh, this this may work. I don't know. So we got the large mithril. We want the rune tomahawk or the rune, so I can I can attack him from here. And hopefully that won't break the charm but that'll give me the item. So either or, we've got both of those items, but I want Robbie. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to edit this part out and uh, see you guys back in the ruins. All right, we're back in the ruins. Let's see how this is going to work out. <laughs> One thief's going to kill the other. Or at least do significant damage to him. And yeah, we get we get Robbie and both treasures. So 
I guess I'll send my other people around to break the barrels and see what else we get. Very negative powers. Give me your orders. Robbie the Mecha Soldier has joined the force. Fantastic. Alright, so we've got... I'm pretty sure there's... If there's a shuriken there, or if there's a barrel behind there, I'm pretty sure there's an item. Small mithril. Fantastic. And can't do anything there, so let's get... I'm just going to attack barrels. Why the hell not? Nothing in that barrel, but it's free XP. It's 5 XP a person, so... Or it's 5 XP for whoever doesn't, I should say. Um, we'll take out that barrel. Anything? Bueller? Nope. So yeah, that's that's about it. We've got one more barrel that I don't think we're gonna get to attack, but we can attack this one. Let's see if there's anything behind it. Oh, and then I got Robbie's turn. So he can do something. So yeah, I'll get to. I get everything in this fight, or not? Because I forgot. I forgot. Um. Was there anything in the mat? Or I don't think so. So yeah, I don't. I really don't think there was anything there that anyone cares about. So once I get back to my turn, I'll go ahead and end this episode here. It'll be a little bit shorter with all the stuff that I'm cutting out, but it it really doesn't matter. I mean, well no, I'll go ahead and stay in because I'm I'm curious. I'll edit this out, so I'll be back in a second. All right, so we're back in the ruins, and as I was saying, I was kind of curious because so he's going to attack which means we get an extra turn in the ruins. Because he's not going to leave, so there will still be a thief in the ruins. And so I'm just, I'm curious. And we, we still get all of the items, because I will be able to attack that barrel. And see if there was anything inside it, which I'm not expecting there to be. Now. But, in the long run, we got everything. We literally got everything there is to get. This is probably the most successful Ruin run ever. Like, I I got everything that I could want. And, yeah, that was just impressive. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, and I will see you guys in the next installment where we finish this fight. So, uh, yeah, till then, later, everyone.